What's up YouTube? It's your girl Shanali and I'm back again with another DIY video. So yeah guys, as you can tell from the title, we are about to revamp this old headboard into a new one. First things first, we are removing the nails so we can pull the headboard apart to basically reuse the material and the boards that are inside. all right so that was pretty much time consuming but hey we got it done so this is the back of the headboard and this was how the front of the headboard was looking so the next step is to actually remove all the sponge and the rest of the material that are inside this headboard so we can basically move on to our next step which is to get in the frame and then get in the measurements of our new headboard As y'all can see, this headboard was built from boards, cardboards, and the towel, and of course the sponge. So we will be removing all of that. As I stated before, we need the boards so we can reuse them for our new headboard. So that's what we're basically doing. If you're new to my channel, it's great to have you here. Welcome, don't be a stranger. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. So we will be using these boards along with some plywood board that we had before to construct the new headboard. So guys, before creating your headboard, you need to know the measurements of your bed. So you need to know the length and the width of your bed so your headboard will be seamless and it will be in line with your bed. So since we had our measurements and we knew exactly how we wanted the headboard, we move on to cutting the plywood so we can move on to the next step. We use two pieces of plywood board to secure all the boards together so that the headboard will be firm and sturdy. So after we secured the boards, we decided to use 2x4s for the headboard legs. You can do this step before wrapping the headboard or you can do this after. This is to your liking or to your preference. So yeah, we used screws to actually attach the legs to the headboard. So this is how the headboard was looking. As you can see guys, it's looking good so far but we decided to create a design or to make a design like make it a little different from how it was before so yeah we removed the two top edges or the two top ends yeah something like that i don't know but yeah we did that and this is how it was looking guys so we decided to create another new design for this headboard. What we are doing now is to cut off 4 inches of the foam from one side only. If you guys wish to recreate this design, you can definitely remove 2 inches from each side but we went the short away. It still looked the same. So yeah guys, the next thing we did was to use a staple gun to secure the foam to the board, to the headboard since we didn't have any glue and we decided not to get any we didn't have any batting home and as usual we decided to not purchase any but you guys can definitely purchase your batting and add it before this step so yeah what we're doing is to remove the excess fabric so we can continue the process
we didn't want our fabric to be messy so what we did was to place the fabric over the cardboards and then we get to stapling guys you want to pull your fabric as tight as you possibly can so that whenever you flip over your headboard you don't have any uh, wrinkles crinkles bags or anything like that so yeah just pull the fabric nice and tight and then get it secured using the staple gun so we also wrap the legs of the headboard just to have everything in one looking nice so yeah guys this is how the headboard was looking so far as you can see it's nice and tight the material was very lovely it's a velvet type of material and guys it was just looking good so far i was just showing you guys how tight and nice and secure this fabric was over the sponge and the boards it's looking great so far this was an additional step you guys really don't have to do this if you don't wish to since the back of the headboard will not be showing so yeah guys moving on to the nail head trim what we're doing is to secure the nail head trim as nice and straight as we possibly can get them and normally they use a rubber ama rubber ama thingy to do this i'm not sure what it's called but again we don't have that and we just use what we had and these nail head trim they were very firm they were strong because they got the original hammer hammer and they did not um strip or anything like that so you guys can definitely purchase these type if you wish to i got them from amazon i believe it was ten dollars i'm not sure something like that i will leave all of that down in the description box below for you guys the next thing we did was to make markings of our measurement this was to basically visualize or to see how your tufting is going to look i believe our markings were 12 across in the top row we went down by five and then we did six in the row below so after creating all those markings how we wanted them what we did next was to use clouted nails to create our tufting we did not use any washers since our fabric was thick enough the next step was to add these gorgeous crystals to the headboard these guys i purchased them from amazon again i will leave a link in the description box for you guys down below so what we're doing is to remove these little hooks whatever these are called from the back of the crystal since our tufting wasn't as thick enough we basically removed them it was time consuming and a little bit challenging but we got it done so guys since we didn't have any hot glue gun at hand what we did was to use super glue which held these crystals as strong as they could possibly be held trust me but yeah we just attached all of those into the little holes or over the clouted nails and yeah guys the headboard was looking gorgeous i actually love 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 the headboard these headboards they are mad expensive they are ranging from about 25 to fifty thousand dollars if not more so if you are looking to purchase a headboard soon, you guys can definitely take on this task. It's very easy, it's fun to do, especially if you are doing it with someone else. Guys, I recommend you taking on this task. Whenever you complete it, you are going to be super proud of yourself. And not only proud, but you will be saving some coins. Yo, you will be saving coins okay with all of that being said this is the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it give your girl a thumbs up share out the video share it out to all of friends and families and i will see you guys in my next video bye